everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is Saturday, February 3rd, 2024, when I was transposing the grid into all of these other third parties puzzling applications. I counted eight digits in the top three rows, nine digits in the middle three rows, seven digits in the bottom three. They all seem evenly distributed. That means, along with the fact this is Saturday, which has typically been the hardest day of the week, that the logic may not be quite as straightforward. One thing I've noticed doing these puzzles long enough is that if there's no row or column or 3x3 three three region filled with at least one digit, you can usually put something in there relatively easily. But that may not be the case today because everything already has something filled in. And with that, let's get going, shall we? And indeed, looking at the top three rows, there's one each of 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can't do anything with it. If you look at the middle three rows, I've got one each of 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, there is a repeat 4, so I can put a 4 in row 6, based on where they are in rows 4 and 5, respectively. But that's all I'm going to get. And in the bottom three rows, I can place a 3 in row 7, based on where they are in rows 8 and 9, plus this 3 in column 4 looking down. Okay, in the leftmost three columns, here are some nines. A nine is one of these two, but not there, so that cell in the center back. No. Those two nines mean nine is one of these two. Ah, this nine doesn't help any. Okay, those two fours are going to mean one of those is a four. Fours and nines, that's all I get. In the middle columns, uh, 2, 3, 6, 7, 5, 1, 8, 6, okay, I can place a 6 in one of those two. And in the rightmost columns, 7's there, so 7's one of these two. 8, 9, 1, 4, 5, 3, I think that's all I'm going to get, but 7, 1, not 1, I was only ruling out of these cells and these cells. So 1 has 4 options here, that's somewhat irritating, but uh, actually I have to start looking at other obvious logic from about the one area that has 5 digits in it. Where is 9? go in row 4. It can't go here because of this 9. These cells are all taken. That leaves only 2 cells left in the row, but this is ruled out because of that 9 in column 8, so that cell's a 9. And now those two 9s mean one of those two is a 9. The cell at the top right of box 9 can't be a 9 because of the 9 pointing at it from the left in row 7. Now, what's left in row 5 uh, looks like 2, 5, and 8. Unfortunately, none of which are ruled out. Well, okay, that's not 5 because of the 5 in the box. That's not 2. Well, there's a triple in the grid. I may as well put that in. Not like it's going to do me much good. Let's see, is there literally anything else with four digits? In, or even five digits? Nope. The most I've got to play with looks like four. Hmm. Okay, does anything look into box two? Or three? Let's see, six, 6 is a lot of these cells, so 6 is one of those 3, but that's irritating. Because it turns a corner, I can't do corner markings like that. Oh, and 2, for the same reason, is going to be there also. So 2 and 6 are in 2 of these 3 cells, but that's all I get. 1, 7, 8, 9 says I need 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well... 
Let's see, this can't be 2, 3, or 6. That's 4 or 5 explicitly. Uh, what I should have looked at was that cell. Because this one happens to see 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is a hidden 3. If I look at just the digits I needed in the box, it sees 2 and 6 in its row, 4 and 5 in its column. Now, these can't be 4, so there's a 5, and this can't be 5, but there's a 4 in there. So I'm looking at that configuration now. This 3 and that 3 in column 7 and 9 means a 3 is in one of two places in box 6. Since these 3s and 7s uh, both happen to share the same two cells, that's a hidden pair. So that will greatly help because that gives me five digits in box six. I've got three, four, five, seven, nine. I need one, two, six, and eight. This isn't one. This isn't one or six. And out of one, two, six, and eight, this isn't one, two, or six. And neither is that. Okay. So this isn't one and this isn't one. And these aren't one because of the three seven hidden pair. So one is in one of these two. That means one is in one of those three. Eight is in one of those two. But because that's offset, I can't really do anything with it. This is from 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. No, this is from 2, 4, 5, and 6, but it sees 5. So this is 2, 4, and 6. It cannot be 1 because of that virtual 1. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so these aren't 5, and this isn't 5. So these two are not 5 because of the 5 given in the box 6. This isn't 5 because of that. So, where does 5 go in column 7? The only two spaces for it are here and here. Therefore, this cell cannot be 5. Now, as for column 9, I have 1, 3, 4, 5, 7. I need 2, 6, 8, and 9. Well, this is anything but 9. 2 or 6 means this is 8 or 9 explicitly. Unfortunately, that can be just about anything. That thing's got four candidates in it. I don't know if I want to pencil mark it quite like that. Hmm. Well, let's see. What's my next move? I still want to place something in box 2, darn it. I've got 1, 3, 7, 8. Oh. 4, 9 can't move. Wait a minute. I think that's another hidden pair, isn't it? It has to be. Where do 4 and 9 go in box 5? Neither 4 nor 9 can go in those three cells. Therefore, 4 and 9 must go in these two. And that's a hidden pair. This means this cell isn't 6, so that's a 6 by my corner marking. Okay. That's not 6. That's not 6. Okay. 2, 8 pair in this box means that's a 1. 6 is now forced to be there. This isn't 6. Neither is that. mark this triple in purple so I can see it. I can get rid of those two corner marked eights because this has now been resolved to a constituent pair. Okay, four nine here and a bunch of other digits means these are two and five and I know the order because this cell has a five looking up. Right? And 
2 makes this cell an 8. That's a 2. This must be 9 because it can't be 8. <clears throat> a 2 is going to make that 6, that 4, that 5, that 2. And this cell is 4, and column 7 is complete. This is now a triple. What looks like 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9 are filled. I think this is 1, 5, and 8. Well, 4 means that's not 4, and this is. That's not 2. Okay, this is 1, 5, and 8. That's not five. Okay, this is the other of two or six. That completes the rightmost third of this grid. And now we've gotten a long way, I think. Right? Okay, five cannot go here. So five is here or here or annoyingly still there. And I still haven't placed anything in box two. Let's see, uh, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. I need 1, 2, 3, and 7 to fill out row 6, but I can't do anything with those cells. 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. By the same logic, those are 1, 2, 3, and 7. Oh, this has to be 3 or 7 to match with that. Okay, what do I do next? These cells here are not 2, 3, 4, 6, 9. They are selected from 1, 5, 7, and 8. Five or seven, uh, that one eight's in the wrong, nor is that one. And these, I can't do anything with. But, let's see. Two and those two, and this two willing that out, says two is one of two spots, here or here. But this is ruled out because of that two, so I've got four twos looking into box two. This cell is a two, unfortunately it's not going to help me with anything else. 1, 2, 5, 6, 8. It says I need 3, 4, 7, and 9. Well, this can't be 4 or 7. This isn't 3. Or 9. Okay, that's 3 or 4. It can't be 7 or 9. And that's 7 or 9 because it can't be 3 or 4. Okay, so as soon as I figure out one of these digits in column 6, the rest of it's going to unwind. Let's see, I now have five digits in row three. I've got one, two, four, five, eight. Well, actually. Okay, where does six go in row three? It can't go here, so it must go in one of those two spots. Let's see, the only place for an even digit is here. These are going to be selected from odd digits. None of which are 1 or 5, so those are 3, 7, or 9. That's not 3, that's not 7. Okay, these are going to be selected from odd digits that are not 1 or 5, so I'll start with 3, 7, and 9, but that's not 3, and that's not 9. Okay, that was not fruitful, but what am I doing? Okay. I said that the, I said in column six that one, two, five, six, eight were placed. So I need three, four, seven, and nine. This sees three and nine. That one sees four and seven. That one sees seven and nine. That one sees three and four. This cell can't be six. The even digits are all seen. It sees one and five and seven. So this is three or nine. So I've got a three nine pair in box two. That means this isn't 9, that's 7. 
And therefore, that's four, and this is going to unwind. Column six is done, just like that. Neither of these are seven. This isn't nine. Nine was in one of two spots, so guess what? That's nine. That's six. This is three. Okay. There's only three spots left in box two. I need one, five, and eight. Switch out of the right mode here. Oh, this isn't five by column. That's not five by row, so that's a five. And I've got a one-eight pair left. Okay, these cells are one and eight and three. Well, this can't be three, so that's a three. This is one or eight. These two cells are one eight along with seven. I can't do anything with those, but three makes that seven. Three, seven. Okay, this is one. This sees one, three, and seven. That must be two. So that must be three. Seven is going to make this not seven. One, eight makes that seven. This one is going to make that cell an eight in column one, and that's going to resolve all my one eights that are floating around. Top third of the grid is done. This isn't seven or eight. This isn't eight. Okay, one and five makes that seven. By pair logic in row eight, this eight is going to come down and resolve the five eight in row four. Okay, this cell is a naked six. It's the only thing left in the column. This cell is an eight for the same reason. <clears throat> These are 1 and 5 along with 2. That's not 2, and that's not 5. There's no point in filling this in as a triple because I'm practically close to done. This 6 is going to come down. 2, 6, and column 9 is resolved. This 8 is going to make that 1, that 2... Okay, 9 goes here, 1 makes that 5, that 8, 5 is going to make 1, 5, this 9 resolves 4, 9 in row 6. Uh, these two are 1 and 4, and I can just write them in. And there we go, 17 minutes. That's not too shabby. Sweet. Well, thank you for joining me this morning.